being blessed to to know the interns and having a relationship with them um when i was managing tink um first of all two and cosign are totally two totally different people both amazing cosign is more so of the artist and the creative and the crazy um just intuitive person with a talent and two was always on the business side of things so what did I learn from them um just hard work and determination like definitely with all of the the plaques that they had and that they have um they just know music that's what I learned like literally appreciated from both of them so when I met two and cosign um it was the night that we met Timberland and it was just more so of the conversation of being happy that I was from the crib and I lived in the south suburbs and they were from Harvey. They had just received the plaque for, I don't know if they had just received it, but they had received a plaque for Rihanna. Um, and I think the thing that I took from both of them was just that you can come from a place like this and hit diamond, platinum, whatever it was that they hit. So. So what made it cool was that I met these guys and we were from the same part of Chicago um, and doing the same type of thing, especially in the music business. Me and Tink met, she was doing a video shoot. And at the time she was doing a video with AZ Production. And I actually happened to be in the car with him at the time. Management came up with a conversation between me and him and then I got a phone call from DJ Reese about a girl in Calumet City That was starting to come up and so the conversation kind of went that way and then we linked up we met I can't really remember where we met at or whatever, but then that's kind of how it took off the whole tink experience definitely was an eye-opening experience because that was my second situation um, and getting to not like a national level, but a global level with an artist because I had Dirk at the same time that I had her, but Dirk popped off before her. Um, and she was just, as she is now, she was just amazing, an amazing artist, a writer, a singer, a rapper. Um, people don't really know that she kind of dabbled in production as well. She just had like a different type of an ear for music and at the time, with that situation, I just learned that things can actually really move so fast. And I had managed her four years before she actually got signed. And it can just happen so fast. And so with the talent that you have, um, if you have good talent, you can't, it, it, it's not gonna beat out good music. One memorable moment that I have with Keith actually is that Roberto from Interscope called me and was like, could you please go over to Keith's house? He will not come outside. And so I'm like, why am I getting the call to go get him? I don't manage him or whatever, but I was known, I was really close with his uncle. Like I said, I was managing his cousin at the time. And I'll never forget when I went over there and his grandmother opened up the door with a shotgun, which was cool, you know, which was cool. But the funniest moment that I've had with Keith is that every time I saw him, I would have lotion so I could put it on his skin because he was so ashy. And I'd be like, you about to get in front of these cameras. He's like, Lyrical, I don't feel like doing none of this shit. And I'm like, but still, you have to be presentable. So that was one of my memorable moments with him. And so every time I do see him, I haven't seen him in a couple of years, but I always be like, you remember me? He'd be like, yeah, you the person that used to put lotion on me. <laughs> but super cool, super um, good memories. No bad memories. That was like really a time where you wanted to be a part of it.